Hello, welcome to Admin Automation and today we are going to learn about the alarms and the printing of alarms and the acknowledgements. So for creating an alarm we have to create a tag right here. That's the first step I'm going to do. <clears throat> then I have the tags right here. Just created a tag as a temperature. Okay, temperature and the connection it's actually an internal type because I don't have a PLC and the data type will be integer. I'm using it as an integer because it's a pressure or a temperature. It's a move or it's a variable. It's a changing one. So it could be integer. And because of there is no PLC, there is no address is relevant over here. So just created a tag. Next thing, I have to create the alarm. With that tag, when the temperature goes above a specific value we have to create an alarm so there is a text right here in this text uh, the temp is low temp is low this is the first one and here is the temp is high the temperature is high so this is the second number alarm number two and one so the class will be a uh, warning Okay, it's a warning alarm. So the second one also warning. If you want to make it as an error alarm, you can make it or if you want to create a different or use a defined class, you can create a new class right here. That could be critical or something like that. So I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just doing the basic one. I'm just going through the trigger tag. In what kind of trigger, in which trigger I have to make these alarms? So that also that already I just created right here in the tag section. So I just using the same tag right here, temperature, and here also the temperature. Yes, here is two types of trigger modes are right here. One the rising edge and the, the other end the falling edge. So when the low temperature I am making it as in the falling edge. On the falling edge, that means there is a limit. When the temperature limit is below 20, when the limit or the tag SL is actually dropping, sorry, the tag temperature is actually dropping below 20, that will trigger the temperature low alarm. And if it is goes or shoot above the rising edge of the limit 80, that goes the other alarm or the high alarm. So I'm going to the screen and creating a bar not a bar in the enhanced objects i'm using a slider okay a slider i'm using inside the slider i have to give the tag of the temperature because from this slider i'm feeding my temperature i'm simulating my temperature uh, from this slider so next i just want to place one more thing one alarm view also with this alarm view i can actually display the alarms Okay, with this alarm, I can display the alarms. Yeah. So that's it. So we can go to the properties of this alarm display. We can use the normal alarms. That means if you are using this alarm, that only the current alarms will be displayed. If you are using the alarm events, that means uh, the entire alarms happened in this runtime will be displayed all over the alarm view display. So you can actually assign the alarm classes which kind of alarms you need to display. So I don't want to display the errors. I don't want to display the system. I just only want to display the warnings. So that's it. So I just fix it as the warnings and uh, I'm just going to place two things. Uh, one, I'm just going to create a report. For printing the alarm reports, you can go to click here and not in the recipes, in the reports. In the reports, you can create a new or report. In the report, you can see the page number. Report means how this guy or how this report should be or how this alarm should be printed to the uh, from our uh, runtime. So this is a page number, this is a page header, this is the exact replica of this report when we are printing in an A4 page. So clicking on these properties, layers, you can see about the property of the report one, you can go to the object properties. 
you can see that in the general uh, of the report properties you can see the enable header enable footer and in the properties you can see the page format is a4 and the port right and so and so it's about the printing format i'm not expert in these the kind of things so now i just want to fix the thing to be printed in the screen so that's the print alarm okay and drag and drop right here this is the print alarm this is the format the alarms should be printed get the time state the class name and so and so that should be printed so i'm coming to the screen one going to the properties of this thing alarm events uh, warnings okay fine so going to the report one and what kind of in this report print alarm report what kind of things you have to print you can choose the alarm source alarm events or alarm log alarm log means the data logging and i'm using the alarm limits and the string sorting should be newest alarm first or the oldest alarm first so i'm the hitting the newest alarm first on the top and the class to be displayed that should be only the warnings okay only the warnings and then next i just want to go to the screen i just want to place one button in the simple objects i just use using this button right here and when i pressing this button that should print the alarm and one more button with this button i just want to clear my alarm logs so this button should be the print alarms print alarm buffer this is the print alarm buffer and this should be the let's make it much bigger print alarm buffer and this should be the clear buffer clear buffer and two buttons i have placed one for printing the alarm one for clearing the buffer and when i click the print alarm buffer i have to fix an action for pressing this alarm buffer button i have to fix an action for this that action i can assign in the events there is an option for click press release activate deactivate change there is five different types of actions are right here so i'm using the click when i click this button one action or one function should happen that function have to assign right here so the function i can search right here i just want to print the alarms okay print the report here it is print the report what report you have to print that report i have already created the report underscore one that is my report for the alarms report one so that's fine that's uh, that has been generated and going to the clear buffer you can assign the function as uh, clear alarm buffer here you can see clear the alarm buffer so which kind of thing or which kind of alarm you have to clear the warnings alarms okay so clear buffer warnings or something like that we can name it then you can go to the uh, report one there is no issues for this uh, everything has been fixed and going to the alarms everything fixed going to the tags it, that's perfectly okay going to the screen everything is fine seems we can actually run this time for a test you can start the runtime and you can see this is my runtime screen and you can see the temperature low alarm has been triggered already because the value is zero that means below 20 the temperature low alarm has been triggered and when i hit or so shoot the value above the 20 value you can see c in the bracket it is mentioned as d d means in the deactivated format when at 7 20 58 pm that alarm has been deactivated and at 7 20 41 beyond that alarm was existed so this is the buffer i call it okay this is the buffer so when i drop the temperature again again the alarm has been activated those all these logs will be providing in the screen and if you go the value above 80 the second number two alarm the temperature high alarm has been activated and when i drop the temperature below 80 that has been deactivated so activate deactivate activate deactivate activate deactivate a lot of alarms has been 
activated and deactivated all over this time and you can scroll this buffer okay so this is the buffer thing so if you have to print the alarm buffer you can hit this button simply and that's fine and you can print the alarms in the documents alas alarm list alarm list so that has been printed and if you want to clear the buffer you can just hit the bu clear buffer button boom that's gone so if you want to create it again 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 and clear that's all that's all about the alarms and if you want to see the printed alarms you can go to the documents and you can see the alarm list right here open that guy and you can see uh, the alarms will be printed on the screen yes here it is these are the alarms that has been generated this is the page number and this is the alarm time date and blah 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 this is the temperature high at 7:21 pm see this is the alarms that has been generated and now we can print it easily that is the alarm printing function in the win cc flexible so hope you enjoyed the video hope you like the content so kindly please hit the like button and subscribe button for future videos thank you